Hi everyone, welcome back to One Touch BI. My name is Saravanan Vajravet and in today's session, I am going to teach you how to enable HTTPS using IIS web server for IBM Cognos 11 gateway URL. The prerequisites for today's demo, we need Windows IIS should be up and running where your IBM Cognos BI server is installed. Let's quickly head over to my system to see the practical demo. Launch IIS Manager from the Windows Start menu by typing IIS. Open IIS Manager. Select the default computer. In the middle pan, double click on Server Certificates. In the right side, under Actions, click on Create Self-Signed Certificate. Provide a user-friendly name. In my case, it should be onetouchbi.com. Go with the default option personal. Click OK. Now the step one of creating a self-signed certificate is completed. The step two is to enable HTTPS for the default website that we use for IBM Cognos 11 gateway URL. Let's do the second step. From the left side under connections, Click on Sites, expand it, click on Default Website, in the right side under Actions, click on Bindings, click Add, go ahead with the default IP address all unassigned so that anytime when your system's IP address is getting changed, it applies automatically the right IP address. Change the type from HTTP to HTTPS that is the assignment for our today's demo. Provide the host name. In my case, the host name is onetouchbi.edu. Select the SSL certificate that we created just now. That is onetouchbi from the drop down selection. Click OK. Click Close. That's all the changes required for our today's demo that converting a IBM Cognos 11 gateway URL from HTTP to HTTPS with a self-signed certificate on Windows platform using IAS web server. Let's close this IAS window. Now launch your Chrome browser to open up your IBM Cognos connection URL with the HTTPS sign-in. As you see, I typed the URL https one touchbiedu slash Cognos1116. As I have already created the virtual directory Cognos1116 for my IBM Cognos11, I can go ahead with HTTPS URL, click enter. As this is entering into the secured SSL zone, it is making a warning message. Click on advanced and proceed to onetouchbi.edu. Provide your user credentials. Click Sign In. Now your Cognos default home page is opened with no error message. Click on Manage Administration Console and make sure you are able to see everything over here without any error message. In general, your Administration Console will use certain Java-based execution. So that's the reason we check every time the Cognos Administration Console opens up or not because it needs certain special permissions to execute. Everything looks good. Now if you see in the URL, it shows that not secure. It is because you are not added the self-signed certificate to the trusted store of Windows utility. Once you have the valid certificate and move to the trusted store, you will not see this message. This happens in trim just because you have an invalid self-signed certificate. Otherwise, this problem won't be there. With this, I'm going to end my session. Until I come back with another interesting video, it is Saranan Vajravel signing off from OneTouch BI.